Okay, <clears throat> so this question is actually one of the discussion uh, problems, discussion 11, problem three. But um, because I received some email from the students, I thought uh, I go over the solution and uh, that's actually a very important uh, problem also. Um, so this circuit is given and you wanna find Z of L such that um, uh, basically um, the maximum average power is delivered to this. And we know that um, under these conditions, V of L needs to be V of Thevenin conjugate. Okay. So therefore I need to find the Z Thevenin and conjugate it, that would be ZL. And for part B, because I need to find the P average, um, and the P average needs V Thevenin, also I need to find V Thevenin. Basically this problem, this problem we need to find the Z Thevenin and V Thevenin. And we go from there. Okay, so finding, to start with finding Z7. So as you know, you have to zero all the independent sources. Independent sources. And then um, if there's a dependent source, you can have to put the test like VS or minus. Okay. So therefore the circuit will be I zero this and have 25 of NJ. Dependent source five I three, which I three zero. Then one of J of the night of the yes, I don't see. So the terminal would be the SM. Okay, so now looking at this circuit, um, we can uh, we can do a K KVL on this loop basically. The reason that I prefer KVL over KCL in this case is that because we have a voltage source, and let's say if I wanted to write the KCL here, um, then there's a voltage source. I didn't know that it's I didn't know it's current. Um, but if you look at just the KVL, you can easily write KVL on this loop. Yeah. Um, so let's write the KVL here and uh, starting from here. 25 plus 10 J times I3 plus Five, five, three, plus three, zero. Okay, so now there will be three plus ten J, five, three, start to zero. Okay, so two, two numbers are multiplied and um, this is not zero, so therefore five, three has to be zero. Or another one, you can say IP is zero divided by that. So basically, IP is equal to zero. So again, on this loop, because I had a voltage source, I prefer to do a KV. Okay. And based on this, the IP is equal to zero. Okay. So if when this happens, my circuit actually uh, even further simplified because so this is zero so therefore uh, just to save time I just zero this short circuit this right zero and then this is I feel also because the current is zero basically I think it's just disconnected because it's short circuit here so at this point I'm just looking at this part. 
So either you can say that, okay, for impedance, this one O, and you can see now it's in parallel with, so we have one O in parallel with the three J, right? So either you can say that, or just let's say, so this is gonna be Zetevela, but or just classically, let's do the, we had to the VSIS, okay, so let's um, write the node analysis here, basically, I can case here, here. So this is zero, this point is zero, right? This is zero, and this is V of S. So therefore, um, we can say here on this node, V S minus zero divided by one, plus V S minus this voltage, which is zero divided by two J, and then minus I S equal to zero. So V S times one plus zero two J divided by I S V S two J J plus one plus two I S so V S over I S is J over one plus J. This is the element, but we are not done. Um, the reason is that um, I would like to have it uh, in a Cartesian form. So therefore, let's um, multiply this. So let me go here. Um, Let's do it here. So I multiply this numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, one minus two j, one plus two. So this is an important step. So as you see here, we have a fraction and I wanna convert it to a Cartesian form. So I multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So therefore what happens is that, let me put this here. So now what happens, I multiply this. One plus three J times one minus three J, it's gonna be one minus nine J squared. And then the numerator three J minus nine J squared, okay? I know J squared is negative one, negative times negative positive, so the numerator is 10. Same in the numerator, this is negative one times negative nine, which becomes nine plus two j. In other point, we have point nine plus point three j. Oh. This is z telling. So now what is z of low? is z seven and conjugate, which is just instead of j, you put negative j, point nine minus point three j. Oh. Okay, very good. But by looking at this, actually the real part is the r seven, the resistor. And, um, we have negative 3j, so negative 3j is capacitor. So basically, the load would be a combination of a resistor in series with the capacitor. That's gonna be z load. Okay, so this is my z load. But we are not done because we also need to find the power, maximum power. And for that, we need to do the V7. Um, okay, so uh, to find the V7, I, I started with the, the graph again. And um, so for V7, as you know, you have to open 
the circuits from the terminals that I want to find the determinant. So I open this part and then I look at the basically this would be we have open circuit or we can. Um, okay, so again, I because of this um, voltage source here, I I will do a KDF. Let's do KDF here on this loop. Negative ten, and it's RMS also. This okay. So whatever I find at the end would be the value of the RMS. So negative. 100 plus 25 plus mj times i phi and then going down plus 5 i phi plus okay nice so as, as you, can see, you can see in this loop the only variable is i phi in other words Hundred equals to five three times twenty five and five is thirty plus ten g. So I think is hundred thirty plus ten g, which can be like ten or I think plus j. M. But also remember, this is also our when when you have RMS for a source, everything after that, the values will be RMS. Um, so this is I phi. But remember, we are interested, we need to find the V of Tevanen, which is again. So you open this, and this was the V of Tevanen. Okay. So again, we look at here, I have now this voltage. I have IV, so I have this voltage and I'm looking for this voltage. So it seems to be again a, a voltage division, okay? So to find V of T1, we can do voltage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the is Vj divided by Vj plus one times the, the voltage, which is five I phi. And I phi is 10 over two plus two. Okay. This is volt again Rms. Okay, so let's multiply. You have a three, you have a five, and you have the 10, so it's 150, J, and then uh, in the denominator, we have, I can just, let's multiply this, uh, or you can, at this point, you can convert it, for example, this one, you can say, square root of 9 plus 1, with some angle, I'll find the angle, and then for this one again, three squared nine plus one with some angle. This is the octagon. Um. So now, if you have your calculator, you can definitely find these angles. Um. But also, you can know that. At the end, we are looking for finding P of max, which is somehow V R M S magnitude of the square theta and then R M square divided by four of R theta. Okay. So in other words, I'm looking for the magnitude of V. Um, so therefore, I don't really need the phase. So magnitude of V theta is Magnitude of numerator, which is 150. Magnitude of 
denominator, which is square root 10 times the square root. This is 10, that is 1 to 50, becomes 50 volt R MS. Okay, so as you see, at, to calculate the power max, you really don't need to calculate the angles, um, but that's fine too. If you have a calculator, I can do the angles as well. I think the angles are uh, from the right, uh, um, 71 degree and 18 degree, something like that. So one of them is 71, one of them is almost 18 degree. But again, to calculate the power, maximum power, you don't need the angles. Okay. So with heaven and the magnitude of that, that is 15 volt RMS. Okay. 15 squared. If it's RMS, the formula is divided by four times R Tevenant. And so what's R Tevenant? R Tevenant, you already calculated that. R Tevenant was one, two. Oh. And this is, uh, we can do the math and the, the unit would be what? Average power in 